In our five minute gardener segment, how to prune a rose. Plenty of tricks from contributor Debbie Mounts. Okay, you guys, it's mid-January. It's a little chilly out here, and you can see I have my glasses on. I have my glasses on because I'm gonna prune a rose for you and show you how to do it properly. There are basically three steps to pruning a rose. Now, the first thing I like to do is just cut a little bit of foliage off of the bush so that I can see into the rose a little better. I'm not making careful cuts. I'm just cutting some of the foliage off of this guy so that I can see it better and see what I need to get at and where I need to cut. So we got some of this off of here. Then the first step after you've done that so you can see what you're doing is to go in and cut out any of the canes that are old and dried up and any little stems that are really tiny and what I would call spindly. So we're gonna go in and look for dried up things and spindly things. There's a cane right here in the middle, spindly and dried up, out of there. There's some other little spindly things over here. We're gonna clip them out of there. Now when you cut, you cut right up next to the cane that is it attached to. Don't leave a stub, because those little stubs can die back and then you get die back on the bush. So you keep going until you have cut out anything that is dried up or spindly on this bush. You can see this is a dried up cane here. Anyway, okay, I'm working on this part. Okay, now, after you've done with that, the next thing you want to do is you want to go in, I'm not quite finished with that, but you want to go in and the next thing you want to do is you want to go in and clip out any canes that may be crossing through the middle that might possibly grow and rub on another cane because that will kill then both of those canes eventually. So I can see that that's happening right here with this cane right here. So I'm going to take this guy right out of there because he's going to start rubbing on this one right here. Okay. All right, now the other goal of this step is to kind of open up the middle a little bit. In our sun, you want to keep a little bit of foliage in the middle, but you want to get some sunlight down into the middle of the plant and through the leaves to get some good cane development and good flowering. Okay, so now let's assume that I've finished that entire step. When you're done pruning, what you want to end up with is you want to end up with a vase-shaped form with your canes out on the edges with maybe one cane or so down the middle. Now when you do your cut, you always want to cut above what they call a bud. You do it on a quarter of an inch on an angle and you just clip right above that red swelling. And you want to do those on the outside of the cane. Okay, you guys, good luck. Come see us if you need help. All right, Debbie joins us now. And the bush right next to you had no leaves on it, and that's, that's, that's what you say you want to do. Right. What you want to do is when you're done with your pruning, if there are any leaves left, pull them all off. You want that bush to put all of its energy into growing new foliage and new flowers and not holding on to the old leaves. Okay, and explain for those of us who didn't know, the cane is and the bud is... The, or, the cane know. is actually the stems on the plant. That's mm -hmm. what they call rose canes. So it's already come <coughs> out. <coughs> It branched out or yes yeah. yes yes so um, this is old growth from mm -hmm. last year so you want to get rid of the old growth kind of clean it up to encourage new growth because the new growth is where you get your big fat roses when from. do we get the roses when will they come usually around depending upon the variety generally they start blooming around mid-march um, into April, beginning of April and such. Okay, and, and then you brought some things. Yeah, I did. Well, first thing, I forgot to wear them in the segment, but rose gloves are fabulous because when you're reaching in there, man, they can really rip up your arms. And these guys seconds. protect your, uh, your arms. This is oh. what you use to seal the canes with. This will protect you from bores, cane bores. It's just glue. It's okay. a little dab of glue on the canes. Hmm. And fertilizer, you want to fertilize them once a month through the growing season up to about the end of September. And then you stop fertilizing. There's organics and chemical fertilizers, either a one. And, and any particular type of rose that does the best here? There's a lot of roses that do really well here, but one trick Give them afternoon shade if you can. All of them would be much happier with afternoon shade. Afternoon shade. Mm -hmm. Okay, and um, what about water? How often? Well, watering depends upon the climate. Like right now, I'd water my rose bushes deeply twice a week. 
Mm -hmm. As it gets warmer, you start kicking that up. You always want to give it a good drink when you do give it a drink, not just a little bit of water, give it a really good drink. Okay. I always overwater everything, and that's my do problem. You? But really? these, I guess you need to water them well. Uh, it'd be hard to overwater a rose, especially in the summer. My kind of plant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it'll work. Thanks, Debbie. You're welcome. So much for coming on. Okay.